What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm gonna show you on how to make a simple countdown. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. First, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is go ahead and right click, go to user interface and create a new widget blueprint. It's gonna be a normal user widget, it's gonna be WP underscore, well, you know, countdown. <clears throat> let's go ahead and open this up and give me some seconds come on there you go so the first thing that we have to do is go ahead and search in the palette a canvas panel and just drag it into the hierarchy so now we can basically start placing our uh, ui <clears throat> so the first thing i'm going to go and put is a simple text over here so of course you can choose you know how your ui will be displayed and we're just going to make a very simple ui and just have it on the top here so i'm going to go into the anchors and put it in the top center and then this part over here will be basically the seconds so for example i can put uh, 59 seconds all right this is just an, an example um later on of course at runtime we will replace this number with the according values so <clears throat> now we can go ahead and uh, chop this a bit because this will only be for the seconds and then you can also make it a bit bigger maybe so in the font size we can increase this slightly a bit so this yeah i'm gonna make this bigger uh, there you go well even a bit bigger there you go this is to you to customize of course so now we can go ahead and change the name into um sex uh seconds text. and then we can duplicate this and this is gonna be like the middle bar so i'm gonna make the columns text <coughs> And this is just so it looks a bit better. So we have like uh, two points over here in the middle. You know what I mean? So I'm actually going to move this a bit here. All right. And now we can duplicate the seconds. It's going to be the minutes text. And then we want to put it to move the. No, this one. No. Minutes. There you go. Come on. Minutes. All right. Now that. So now this can be like, for example, two minutes or whatever it has to be. <coughs> Great, so now that we have the UI done, um, we can go ahead and display it. So we can go and open up our third person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint you're using, of course. And let's go into the begin play of our character. And right after, uh, you know, it starts the game and the begin play, what we're going to do is call this create widget uh, node. And now we can go ahead and choose the widget that we want. In our case, it's going to be the one that we have created, which is the uh, countdown though you the countdown now it's gonna be the get player controller and now we want to go ahead and uh, go ahead and drag this and add it into the viewport so we'll add it into the player's screen so now if I go here and press play you can see that we have the UI now of course it doesn't do anything so let's go and quickly set up the main system and functions so let's go into the countdown let's go into the graph <clears throat> so we don't need the pre-construct the construct we only need the event tick. So in the event tick, I'm going to go ahead and make a delay of one second. So basically, the event tick is basically, well, it's like every frame. So it will run every frame. So we're going to 60 frames per second. It will run every, uh, every <coughs> uh, 60 times every second. Okay. So, so we want to basically limit it into every second just by adding a simple delay. All right. So now we can start creating our variables. So we will need some variables. So let's go ahead and create the seconds. Seconds. There you go. And this is gonna be compile. And so that, that was a function. Sorry. <laughs> let's go ahead and delete that uh, variables here. <laughs> seconds. And this is gonna be your type float. Okay. Uh, and then let's go ahead and create the minutes. And again, it's gonna be a float. So now we can get the seconds. And the first thing I wanna ask is that. Sorry, here no. I'm gonna make a branch, and I'm gonna ask if it is uh, less or equal than zero. So if it is, what we're going to do is you know decrease the minutes and stuff. But if it isn't, we're gonna continue decreasing the seconds. Let's quickly do the false condition. Let's get the seconds, and I go ahead and get, and then I'm gonna use this double decrement float. So it will, this one, this now will basically automatically uh, de uh, decrease it by one. So minus one basically <clears throat> and then in the true we want to now decrease the minutes let's go ahead and get the minutes and then we want to go ahead and make sure 
that I uh, want to do another branch and we want to make sure that our minutes are they are less than equal than zero okay and here we'll go ahead and, and basically uh, quit the game for example okay we'll quit the game uh, just an example you can do whatever you want here the level changes a message pops up etc now in false what we want to do is get the minutes and then again the uh decrement flow so we'll decrease by one and then another thing that we have to do is reset these seconds so go ahead and set them to be 59 and oh, 89 no <laughs> 59 all right so now what we can do is go ahead and display uh, in the ui because if not it just won't re refresh so in here after the seconds we can get the you go to designer and go into the seconds text and we mark its variable and then the same with the minutes text so we need to mark this so now we can go ahead and access it over here <clears throat> so now we need to get the uh seconds text we need to get it then we need to call this uh no which is set text on the button here on the widget <clears throat> this one no the text this one okay so i think it was the same one anyway uh so now what we have to do is basically plus uh passing the seconds so we can actually get it from here and it will automatically do the conversion from uh, text to float now we want to do the same thing here so we want to get our seconds and then uh set the text I don't know how to type <laughs> okay now yes so the text and now the seconds are gonna be this ones <clears throat> and then we want to also set the minutes let's go ahead and get the minutes and then set the text over here down here all right put this here and then this is gonna be the minutes and i can go on the the minutes variable and now we can go ahead and just plug it in it will auto convert it and there we go so that's it we can now compound save and you can see that when i press play it they quit the game super fast so i have a problem over here and is that well we then go ahead and fill up the variables so minutes um it's gonna be for example we can say two minutes and then seconds we can say for example let's start with actual 59 seconds okay so it will basically be a timer for three minutes so now if i press play <coughs> You can see that these seconds are decreasing exactly you know you, you can see it here really cool <clears throat> and then when we get into a certain point so let's cheat a bit let's go to seconds and put this to be only 10 so we'll see how the minutes decrease so it'll be 10 seconds eight seven and there you go you can see that the minute decrease from two to one and then on um, back on 59 seconds so that's it guys if you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful i would really appreciate you collect the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials so if you want to go ahead and check them out go ahead also join my discord server and follow me on all socials there's twitter instagram etc and now yes with what i said bye bye